Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 1 to 10 for the CompTIA A plus 1202 exam. Let's begin. A technician needs to provide remote support for a legacy Linux-based operating system from their Windows laptop. The solution needs to allow the technician to see what the user is doing and provide the ability to interact with the user session. Which of the following remote access technologies would support the use case? The correct answer is... B. VNC. VNC is the correct solution because it allows the technician to see the user's existing desktop session on a Linux system and directly interact with it. VNC is cross-platform, so the technician can connect from their Windows laptop to the Linux machine's graphical desktop. Why the other options are incorrect? A. VPN. This provides secure network connectivity but does not itself allow remote viewing or interaction with a user's session. C. SSH. This enables command line access only. It does not provide graphical session sharing or the ability to see what the user is doing. D. RDP. This is primarily designed for Windows. On Linux, it typically opens a new session instead of sharing the active user session, which doesn't meet the requirement. Therefore, the correct answer is B. A network technician notices that most of the company's network switches are now end of life and needs to be upgraded. Which of the following should the technician do first? The correct answer is C. Propose the change. The technician should propose the change first by documenting the need to upgrade the end of life switches and presenting it for review and approval. This ensures proper planning, budgeting, and authorization before implementation. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Implement the change. Jumping straight to implementation skips approval and planning, which would cause downtime or compliance issues. B. Approve the change. Technicians typically don't have authority to approve. That step comes after a proposal is reviewed by management or a change control board. D. Schedule the change. Scheduling happens after the change has been proposed and approved. Therefore, the correct answer is C. MFA for a custom web application on a user's smartphone is no longer working. The last time the user remembered it working was before taking a vacation to another country. Which of the following should the technician do first? The correct answer is A. Verify the date and time settings. MFA, especially time-based one-time passwords, relies on the device's date and time being accurate. If the user traveled to another country, their phone's time zone or clock may be incorrect, which would cause codes to fail. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Apply mobile OS patches. This is good for overall security, but not directly related to MFA failing after travel. C. Uninstall and reinstall the application. This may work, but is unnecessary if the issue is simply incorrect date time settings. D. Escalate to the website developer. This is not needed until basic troubleshooting has been done. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following is found in an MSDS sheet for a battery backup? The correct answer is B. Emergency procedures. An MSDS for a battery backup includes emergency procedures, such as what to do in case of leaks, fire, or chemical exposure. It focuses on safety, handling, and disposal of hazardous materials. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Installation instructions. These are found in the product manual, not in an MSDS. C. Configuration steps. Configuration details are in setup guides, not in safety data sheets. D. Voltage specifications. Electrical specs are listed in technical data sheets, not MSDS documents. Therefore, the correct answer is B. The screen of a previously working computer repeatedly displays an OS not found error message when the computer is started. Only a USB drive, a keyboard, and a mouse are plugged into the computer. Which of the following should a technician do first? The correct answer is C. Check boot options. The first step is to check the boot options in the BIOS UEFI to confirm the system is attempting to boot from the correct drive. A misconfigured boot order commonly causes the OS not found error. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Run data recovery tools on the disk. This is too early. First confirm whether the disk is detected and set as a boot device. B. Partition the disk using the GPT format. 
Repartitioning would erase data and is unnecessary unless the disk is new or corrupted. D. Switch from UEFI to BIOS. Changing boot mode without confirming this configuration could cause more issues if the OS was installed in UEFI mode. Therefore, the correct answer is C. A security administrator teaches all of an organization's staff members to use BitLocker to go. Which of the following best describes the reason for this training? The correct answer is A. To ensure that all removable media is password protected in case of loss or theft. BitLocker to go is Microsoft's encryption feature specifically for removable drives. Training staff ensures they know how to encrypt these devices and protect data with a password in case the media is lost or stolen. Why the other options are incorrect? B. To enable secure boot and a BIOS level password. Secure boot and BIOS passwords are separate security features, not related to BitLocker to go. C. To enforce VPN connectivity to be encrypted by hardware modules. VPN encryption is unrelated to BitLocker to go. D. To configure all laptops to use the TPM. That applies to full disk encryption with BitLocker on internal drives, not removable media. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following is used to detect and record access to restricted areas? The correct answer is C. Batch readers. Batch readers are used to detect and record access to restricted areas by requiring authorized personnel to scan an ID batch. They log entry attempts, providing both access control and auditing. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Bollards. These provide physical barriers to block vehicles, not access logging. B. Video surveillance. This monitors and records activity but does not directly detect or log individual access attempts. D. Fence. This provides a physical perimeter barrier but cannot detect or record access. Therefore, the correct answer is C. An administrator received an email stating that the OS they are currently supporting will no longer be issued security updates and patches. Which of the following is most likely the reason the administrator received this message? The correct answer is B. The OS will be considered end of life. The administrator received this message because the operating system is reaching its end of life. After this point, the vendor no longer provides security updates or patches, leaving the OS vulnerable if still in use. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Support from the computer's manufacturer is expiring. That applies to hardware warranties and support, not OS security updates. C. The built-in security software is being removed from the next OS version. Security software updates are separate from the OS lifecycle. D. A new version of the OS will be released soon. A new release may happen, but the reason for no updates is specifically that the current OS is end of life. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which of the following is the best way to distribute custom images to 800 devices that include 4 device vendor classes with 2 types of user groups? The correct answer is D. Use a network-based remote installation tool. The best way to deploy custom images to 800 devices across multiple vendor classes and user groups is with a network-based remote installation tool. This approach automates deployment, applies the right image to the right device class, and scales efficiently for a large rollout. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Use XCopy to clone the hard drives. This is manual and inefficient. Cloning drive by drive would be impractical for 800 devices. B. Use Robocopy to move the files. Robocopy moves files but does not handle full OS imaging or configurations. C. Use a local image deployment tool for each device. This is possible, but it would require touching every device individually, far too time consuming for 800 systems. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following types of social engineering attacks sends an unsolicited text message to a user's mobile device? The correct answer is D. Smishing. Smishing is a type of social engineering attack where an attacker sends an unsolicited text message to trick the user into revealing sensitive information or clicking a malicious link. Why do the options are incorrect? A. Impersonation. This involves pretending to be someone else, but not specifically through text messages. B. Vishing. This is voice phishing, 
conducted over phone calls, not SMS. C. Spear phishing. This is a targeted phishing attack, usually delivered via email, not text messages. Therefore, the correct answer is D. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.